When building a new home, you can save a lot in the long run by making it as energy efficient as possible. In fact, many energy efficient homes are as much as 30% more efficient than a typically constructed home. But this doesn't just save you money on your utility bills. It also provides a healthier, more durable, comfortable home for your family. So how can you make your next house as energy efficient as possible? There are several ways to ensure you're getting the best value for your home dollar. One of the most effective ways of making your home more energy efficient and more comfortable is with high quality insulation in your floors, walls and attic. But simply having the right amount of insulation isn't enough. It must also be properly installed. Poor installation causes excessive heat gain in the summer and heat loss in the winter, making your cooling and heating systems work overtime. Properly installed insulation will completely blanket the home, exterior walls, ceiling and floors. There shouldn't be any gaps, voids or compressions, and it should be in full contact with the exterior and interior air barriers, like the exterior plywood sheathing and the interior drywall. It's critical that the air barrier is continuously sealed so that the warm air and cool air don't meet on the interior of your walls. This can cause condensation and a lot of damage. We recommend that your home's insulation meets or exceeds the latest national code requirements so that you're comfortable in your home year-round and you reduce your utility bills. Architects, engineers, and builders all refer to the barrier between the outside world and the inside of your home as the home's enclosure. By sealing cracks and holes in the enclosure, you reduce the penetration of cold air, moisture, dust, pollen, and even noise, thus improving air quality. But while the air tightness of the home assists in quality control, if the home is too tight, it can create poor air quality. With no ventilation system to dilute the pollutants within the home, there is a greater possibility of poor indoor air quality. To control this better, you can mechanically ventilate your home with an air ventilation system. With this, the air both enters the home and filters from one place, making it easier for you to improve the air quality. This balance is what ultimately creates a healthier home for your family. Your ductwork is another system that works much better when sealed. In a typical home, about 20% of the air moving through the system is lost to leaks, holes, and poor connections. By sealing the ductwork, you improve your heating and cooling efficiency, which reduces your energy output and your energy bills. Energy efficient windows can help you maintain a steady, comfortable temperature inside your home all year round. During the summer, they can block out 70% or more of the solar heat gain and will reflect heat indoors during the winter. The advanced components of these energy efficient windows help minimize air and water infiltration, as well as increase wind resistance, block outside noises, and reduce damaging sunlight that would typically fade or discolor carpets, countertops, and furniture. And because of their overall energy efficiency, these windows will help you save money on your monthly utility bills. Because 50% of a home's energy use is through its heating and cooling system, high efficiency equipment can make a substantial impact on your monthly bills. In addition to financial savings, high efficiency equipment is quieter and reduces indoor humidity, which makes your home a much more comfortable, livable space. To experience these benefits, consider installing a high efficiency heat pump. Another system to consider installing in your home is an air ventilation system that controls and filters the air that enters your home. It reduces the load on your heating and cooling equipment and makes it easy and economical for you to improve your overall air quality leaving you with a healthier living space, minimized energy loss, and even more reductions in your overall energy costs. Anything that's plugged into your home's electrical system affects your utility bills, so it only makes sense that you'd want to choose electrical products based on their energy efficiency. Look for the Energy Star label on products when you're making a purchase. You'll find it on practically every appliance and electronic device you could want, from kitchen and laundry appliances to TVs and computers to water heaters. Another easy way to improve your home's efficiency is to use compact fluorescent lighting, commonly known as CFLs, or LED lights. 
These alternatives are more efficient than traditional lighting applications and produce as little as 25% of a traditional light bulb's heat. All new homes look great from the outside, but it's important to ensure that your home is truly energy efficient. That's why you should make sure your builder has looked behind the walls by hiring an independent home energy rater. These professionals conduct on-site testing and inspection. Typical tests include a blower door test to check for leaks in the home's enclosure and a duct blaster test to check for leaks in the duct system. The home energy rater visually inspects common areas where air often flows around or through insulation. Ask your builder about their third-party verification process, as well as the energy savings they've helped homeowners receive on their previous homes. There's a lot that goes into an energy-efficient home, but you also get a lot out of it. Family comfort, healthy living conditions, and of course, energy efficiency. If you're building a home soon, make it as energy efficient as possible. After all, if you build it, savings will come.